Welcome to our Piping Engineering YouTube channel. In this video I will try to explain you four different piping isometric drawings. Also, we will learn the isometry of the pipeline bent in different directions and we will be watch 3D model of this pipeline. Also, we will be bending the wire according to the isometry. If you watch the video until the end, I am sure it will be very useful for you. Let's start piping tutorial video. We will try to read this pipe isometric drawing. This pipeline consists of a spool and this is the spool number. This is the list of materials for fabrication, which used in this pipeline. Let's learn the materials on this pipe drawing. Detail number 1, was used in several places in the pipe drawing. Let's look at the material list. The detail number 1, pipe, wall thickness is 15.9 mm, carbon steel, grade is X60, size of pipe is 3 inches, length are 3 meters used. Detail number 2, was used in 4 places, in the pipe drawing. Let's look at the material list. The detail number 2, elbow, 90 degree, long radius, Wall thickness is 15.9 mm, carbon steel, grade is X60, the elbow size is 3 inches, quantity are 4 pieces. Detail number 3, was used in 2 places, in the pipe drawing. Let's look at the material list. The detail number 3, flange, weld neck, wall thickness is 15.9 mm, carbon steel, grade is X60, Size of pipe is 3 inches, quantity are 2 pieces. We learned the materials which used on this pipe drawing. Every pipe drawing has such a sketch, this indicates the directions. By studying these directions, we can easily read the any pipe isometrics. There are 6 directions here. North direction. South direction. East direction. West direction. Up direction. Down direction. The man who reads the isometric must think that he is in the middle of these directions. His face will be to the north. His back to the south. His right hand to the east and his left hand to the west. Let's try to read this pipe isometric using these directions. The reading of the pipe drawing will start from this point. The pipeline travels start from this point to the north. Then pipeline travels to the down direction. In this point pipeline travels to the north direction. Then pipeline turns to the east direction. In this point, pipeline travels to the north direction again. So, the correct reading of the pipe drawing is completed. Now let's bend the wire of this pipe drawing, using these directions we learned. We hold the wire on the horizontal position. Here we are bending the wire to the down. Then we are bending the wire to the north direction. Here we are bending the wire to the east direction. At last, in this point we are bending the wire to the north direction again. So, the bent wire of the pipeline is ready. Now, let's look at the 3D model view of this pipeline. The wire bending and 3D view of pipeline helps us understand pipeline isometry more easily. By comparing the 3D model of the pipeline with the pipe isometric, the pipe drawing can be easily read. 
A good knowledge of piping drawings helps pipe fitters succeed job interviews. You can easily find the useful piping skills you need on our channel. We help improve the skills of pipe fitters with the videos we share. You can help our channel by watching these videos and sending them to your friends. Thank you for watching, see you on next video. We are continuing to our tutorial with next video. In this video, we will learn the isometry of the pipeline bent in different directions and we will be watch 3D model of this pipeline. If you watch the video until the end, I am sure you will improve your pipe training knowledge. Let's starting pipe tutorial video. In this drawing we see the pipe isometric. First, we will try to read easily this pipe isometric drawing. This scheme you see in the video shows the directions. There are six directions here. North direction. South direction. East direction. West direction. Up direction. Down direction. The person reading the drawing should imagine himself facing north. Provided that he is in the center of these directions. Now that we know the names of the directions, we can read this drawing. Let's start reading the drawing from this starting point. The pipeline starts moving in the north direction at this starting point. The pipeline continues its movement first to the east and then to the north horizontally at an angle of 45 degrees along the dashed lines here. The pipeline continues to move north. The pipeline here rises vertically at an angle of 45 degrees along the dashed lines here. The pipeline continues to move north again. The pipeline here turns to the west at an angle of 90 degrees. So, the correct reading of the pipe drawing is completed. Let's find out the list of materials used in this drawing. Detail number 1 was used in several places in the pipe drawing. Let's look at the material list. This is bill of materials. The detail number 1, pipe, seamless type, wall thickness schedule 80, carbon steel material, size is 3 inches, the quantity total is 1 meter. Detail number 2, was used in 4 places, in the pipe drawing. Let's look at the material list. The detail number 2, flange, weld neck type, wall thickness schedule 80, carbon steel material, size is 3 inches, the quantity is total 4 pieces. Detail number 3, was used four places in the pipe isometric. Let's look at the material list. The detail number 3, elbow 45, degree type, wall thickness schedule 80, carbon steel material, size is 3 inches, the quantity is total 4 pieces. Detail number 4, was used one place in the pipe drawing. Let's look at the material list. The detail number 4, elbow 90, degree type, wall thickness schedule 80, carbon steel material, size is 3 inches, the quantity is 1 piece.
We learned the materials which used on this pipe drawing. Now, let's look at the 3D model view of this pipeline. The 3D view of pipeline helps us understand pipeline isometry more easily. By comparing the 3D model of the pipeline with the pipe isometric, the pipe drawing can be easily read. Most of the time, on the job exams require to read pipe drawings and bill of materials for fabrication in pipe drawings. We are continuing to our tutorial with next video. In this video, we will learn the isometry of the pipeline bent in different directions and we will be bending the wire according to the isometry. Also, we will be watch 3D model of this pipeline. If you watch the video until the end, I am sure it will be very useful for you. Let's start piping tutorial video. This is the pipe isometric drawing. This pipeline consists of one a spool only. This is the list of materials for fabrication, which used in this pipeline. Let's learn the materials on this pipe drawing. Detail number one was used in several places in the pipe drawing. Let's look at the material list. The detail number one, seamless pipe, wall thickness is 0.625 inches or 15.9 millimeters, carbon steel, grade is X60, size of pipe is 3 inches, 2.9 meters used. Detail number two, was used in two places, in the pipe drawing. Let's look at the material list. The item number two, 45 degree elbow, long radius, Wall thickness is 0.625 inches or 15.9 millimeters, carbon steel, grade is X60, the elbow size is 3 inches, quantity are 2 pieces. Detail number 3 was used in two places also in the pipe drawing. Let's look at the material list. Detail number 3, 90 degree elbow, long radius, wall thickness is 0.625 inches or 15.9 millimeters, Carbon steel, grade is X60, the elbow size is 3 inches, quantity are 2 pieces. Detail number 4, was used in two places in this pipe isometric. Let's look at the material list. The detail number 4, Calperti standard hub flange, wall thickness is 0.625 inches or 15.9 mm low temperature carbon steel material, grade is F60. We learned the materials which used on this pipe drawing. Every pipe drawing has such a sketch, this indicates the directions. By studying these directions, we can easily read the any pipe isometrics. There are six directions here. North direction. South direction. East direction. West direction. Up direction. Down direction. The man who reads the isometric must think that he is in the middle of these directions. His face will be to the north. His back to the south. His right hand to the east and his left hand to the west. Let's try to read this pipe isometric using these directions. The reading of the pipe drawing based on the direction on the pipeline will start from this point. The pipeline travels start from this point to the up. Then pipeline travels to the west direction. There are dashed lines here, we will continue along these lines to the north direction and then along these lines to the up vertical. Then pipeline travels to the west direction again. In this point, pipeline turns to the south direction. So, the correct reading of the pipe drawing is completed. Now let's bend the wire of this pipe drawing, using these directions we learned. We hold the wire to the up. Here we bend the wire to the west. Here we bend the wire to the up at an angle of 45 degrees. Then we bend the wire to the west at an angle of 45 degrees.
At last, in this point we bend the wire to the south direction. The bent wire of the pipeline is ready. The wire bending and 3D view of pipeline helps us understand pipeline isometry more easily. Let's look at the 3D model view of this pipeline. A good knowledge of piping drawings helps pipe fitters succeed job interviews. We share all the necessary information for pipe fitters on this channel for free. By watching our videos, you can easily find the useful piping skills you need on our channel. We are continuing to our tutorial with next video. In this video, we will learn the isometry of the pipeline bent in different directions and watch 3D model of this pipeline. Also, we will be bending the wire according to the isometry. If you watch the video until the end, I am sure it will be very useful for you. Let's start piping tutorial video. This is the pipe isometric drawing. This pipeline consists of one a spool only. Let's learn the materials which used in the pipeline. This is the list of materials for fabrication. Let's learn the materials which used in the pipeline. Detail number one, shows pipe. Was used in several places in the pipe drawing. Let's look at the material list. The detail number one, 3.8 meters length, 8 inches pipe, seamless, schedule is XXS, SA333 grade 6. Detail number two, was used in two places, in the pipe drawing. Let's look at the material list. The item number two, the quantity is two pieces, size is eight inches, 45 degree, long radius elbow, schedule is XXS. Detail number three, was used in two places also, in the pipe drawing. Let's look at the material list. The item number three, the quantity is two pieces, size is eight inches, weld neck flange, a350, schedule is XXS. Every pipe drawing has such a sketch, this indicates the directions. By studying these directions, we can easily read the any pipe isometrics. There are six directions here. North direction. South direction. East direction. West direction. Up direction down direction. The man who reads the isometric must think that he is in the middle of these directions, his face is towards the north. Let's try to read this pipe isometric using these directions. We will start reading the piping isometric from this point. The pipeline travels start from this point to the north. There are dashed lines here, we will move along these lines first down vertical and then north. There are dashed lines here too, along which we will move first to the east and then north direction, horizontal. So, the correct reading of the pipe drawing is completed. Now let's bend the wire of this pipe drawing. With the help of this sketch, let's bend the wire of this pipeline. We hold the wire to the north. Here we bend the wire to down at an angle of 45 degrees. Here we bend the wire to east at an angle of 45 degrees. The bent wire of the pipeline is ready. Let's look at the 3D model view of this pipeline. This education video is finishing here, if you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel from the bottom right corner and like the video. By becoming a member of our channel, you can support our channel and benefit from some features. We're very happy to embark on this educational journey with you. Thank you for visiting the Piping Engineering YouTube channel.